what this video is is there was a copy machine that was sat in the center of my high school's hallways myself and my friend will decided to take this matter into our own hands figure out why there was a copier in the hallway and the thing that frightened us the most was that nobody even noticed you would say hey you see that copier in the hallway and somebody would look at you and be like what copier and then you look at them and be like it was in the middle of the hallway so me and will we interviewed the two main culprits and this is our result we did not find out too much but we found out enough ladies and gentlemen i present the case of the mysterious copy We have a question for you. We have to ask you something. For a documentary. We have to document. No, 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 no. We have to document. Trust us. Trust the process. We have to ask you something. Yeah, and you're gonna ask me on camera. It's serious. I, I, it's for a documentary. Okay, but I get the right to tell you to, to uh, yeah, erase it. Yeah, do. of course. I trust you both. You know that. Yes. Are you filming this right now? Yes, awesome. you are. Yeah. Hi. Hi. The main uh, perpetrator. You want to get this? <laughs> the hunt continues. What's the what's the Dilla. Okay. Thank you. We just, you set the standard so high, I don't know how the rest of humanity can continue. Thank you. Thank you. I um, just wanted to get down to the hard facts about the, um, the copy in the hallway. Because mm. we've noticed it's been transported from your very room to the, uh, to the hallway. Yes. yes. That's most concerning. Do you know anything about that? About what? The copier. Being <laughs> <laughs> well, I know the copiers. I mean, moving on from you know thousands of years of tradition of hand scribing, I think that finally someone, I think it was uh, Leroy Xerox, uh, developed a method for replicating previous works on paper. I think that's the story of the copier. That's not the question. That's not my question. Yeah. So we we noticed a couple months ago. When you say we, who do you mean? Me, Jasper, and I. Uh, uh huh. Also looking mighty fly. And I see he's got a place to keep that phone. Yeah, he does. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Your line of questioning. Go ahead. <laughs> Mr. Bostelet. Yes. Wait, you're re referencing Mr. Bostelet. You're yes. not calling me Mr. Bostelet. No. Okay. I got yeah. it. So we saw. And transport the. Who uh, he saw him? I saw him transport uh -huh. the copy of, from there to the hallway. Uh -huh. I just want to know, like, what the plan of action is. Like, if you're gonna donate it to like the garbage collection agency. Or Never garbage collection. No. Are you gonna remodel it and you reuse it? I think it's available for anyone to use. But like, you should try it. I think you should make some copies. Well, we it's a public that. service. You what? need to make that clear. Well, um, maybe you should make a sign on reused paper. Feel free to use this machine. Is this still in operation? Does it still work? I think you can make single page copies. I don't think it likes to do multiple of anything. Because that would actually be helpful. What would be helpful? If we had an operating copy right in the hall. Well, then I think you should thank Mr. Bossolette. Yeah. Let's go thank Mr. Bossolette. All right. Okay. <laughs>
we asked him about the copier machine. Yes. That was transported out of your room and a couple months ago. And, and we want to know of its status. What copier? The copier. What room? You know it, what room. It was from 307. I'm having a hard time recollecting. As an eyewitness. I have a hard time collecting, so recollecting is even more difficult for me. Okay. So there was a copier in your room. I understand the words. There but I'm having a hard time <laughs> unifying the actions. And it was transported <clears throat> in my mind. Room. It was transported to the hallway. By whom? By you. Oh. By you. Oh, we, oh, this, was this too. in New York or Louisiana? Is this in the one by the elevator? Yes. Oh. What is this? Uh, is this a, a, a human rights violation? No, we're, just, we, we're not accusing you of anything. We just want to know the facts. Someone get me some paper, please. You want answers? Um, you know he could kill me with a piece of paper. Let me tell you something <laughs> right now. Both of you are in serious jeopardy. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to speak to my lawyer. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. I don't think there's going to be an outlet here. I'm not. I'm not. So we have to drag this. <laughs> Where are we going to bring it? <laughs> This looks so weird. <laughs> Where are we gonna bring it? Um, let's just scope out. So, so yeah, an outlet anywhere. What are you documenting? Forget about it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the hunt for an outlet. We found a good room. We're pending. Are there any available oh, outlets right. in here? <laughs> Are there any outlets in here? Yeah. Alright, we'll be right back. Shh. What are you wearing? Well, well, what's your shirt? Huh? What's that shirt? What shirt? Did you have that shirt? No, no. stupid. I have that shirt. Okay. Watch your language. You're an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. Yeah, we have approximately yeah, 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Ten minutes on the clock. James Bond music. Q. In a world where nobody knows how this coffee you got there, two men, both alike in dignity, will figure out what is wrong. I have a present for you, Miss Mark. What's going on? We have a present. <laughs> we got you. What's going on? We got you a present. What is it? No, I don't want that. No, nah, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> you got a plug somewhere? Why are you doing that? We need to test it for the student body. It's cool. 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 I think you can plug it into like this thing, right? Where? The cart. Ow. Yes. I'm plugging it over here. What are you... What just happened? Okay. Where did you find this? What? It's in the hallway. No one noticed. <laughs> Why are you doing this right now? You're going to be done with this in five minutes yes. and have a class. We just need to see if it works. What, it, what class are you doing? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> It's just a prank. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a prank, bro. Bro, 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 it's just a prank. It's just a prank. All right. We plug it in. We see some shifting of gears, a lot of dust. It does work. Lights are turning on. Let's see if it can come. I'm not even getting where you're supposed to be right now. Environmental science. What? With the price? Cool. Yes, yeah, it's cool. helping our it's environment. Cool. It's cool. cool. Here we go. This paper is in. Paper is in. Where? Did you put paper in the thing? Is there paper in the machine? No, there's no paper in the I machine. guess we'll have to figure it out. Pre close it. Press start. Enter code with... Ah, yeah, code. We need the code. The one downstairs. Let's find out the code. That's the one downstairs. Try that. Start. Start. This thing smells. Next time, we'll figure out the code.